Greg Irwin. I'm a finger fitness expert. The hand is, is a tool, and this is the ultimate tool that we use to do everything. As a, as a musician, why don't I work on something to help improve my hands? Uh, in the mid-1980s, uh, I started um, thinking I should write a book or put this together, and it was 1988, 20 years ago almost. Actually, I did start 20 years ago, but it'll be the 20th year in 2008. my first one right here. This is a uh, an antique magician's prop, probably 75 to 80 years old. And they used to put it on a tray and it would kind of move by itself because it's super lightweight paper mache and it would be like one tap or two taps for yes or no. I got this in China. And it was on a mannequin, like a body, you know, legs, and this would just screw on. You put the shirt and stuff on it. And I walked to this market and I said, how much for that? That? And they said, no, that's a, it's a for display, for shirts and stuff. I said, I know that. How much is it? Not for itself. Where's your boss? You know, five minutes later, I walked away with the hand, paid the guy 10 bucks. That's the uh, biggest hand I've been, been to right there. That's a wuxi near uh, Shanghai. I want Hamilton to build the world's largest hand. I was coming back from Paris over 10 years ago. Everybody's coming in from France like, that's where I live, right there in Hamilton. And all these flights are coming right over Hamilton every day. Yeah. And we need to put the world's largest hand right in Hamilton, probably Pyramid Hill, like high from Hamilton, the hand of Hamilton. And it could be maybe close to the Eiffel Tower type deal. Uh, if we think big enough, Hamilton could deliver the hand that welcomes everybody.